I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand a very important concept on direction fields which can be utilized to sketch graph of the solution of differential equations. So the question here is how to sketch the graph of the solution of differential equation y dash equals to f of x y. As you can see this is a first order differential equation where it only says that the derivative or the slope of the solution of the function at any point x y is f of x y right so that is what it says so the differential equation says that the slope of the solution at x y is f of x y so that is how you can read this equation now this is a very important concept we are saying slope of a solution at x y is f, f of x y that piece this equation really gives us the slope at a, every each and every coordinate point and that can help us to sketch the graph of the solution even without explicitly knowing the function or finding the solution of the equation that's the whole concept right so to take an example we'll take a very very simple example so let me consider the equation where uh, the y dash is equals to let's say y right so that really means that any point on this coordinate axis will have slope of y representing the solution of this differential equation right we need not know what y is right but we, what we know here is that if y is 0 then y dash is 0 so so at this point when y is 0 y dash means slope of the graph of the solution is 0 do you understand right so at y equals to 0 the whole axis right it, and this axis x and y axis so all along the x axis y value is 0 so this says that the derivative of the solution of this function is 0 all along the x-axis where y is 0. So we can draw short lines representing uh, that solution. Let me use a highlighter pen so that it becomes easier for us to see. Okay, so the bold big one. So if y is 0, y dash is 0. That means the 0, right? So that means these small lines represent the slope right from this differential equation so all along the x-axis where y is 0 y prime is 0 so horizontal line represents that solution correct if y is 1 then the slope is 1 so I can draw a line like this representing the slope right so if I draw all along in the same direction that shows that this solution curve will have this kind of a slope when it passes through this point correct if y is 2 then then the solution will be the slope will be 2 at that point so all along this axis y is 2 right parallel to x axis so let me draw uh, the slope represented by these dashed lines they only represent the slope at a specific coordinate point right which is given to us from the equation itself if y dash is let us say negative 1 in that case the slope will be negative 1 so it be kind of like this do you see that so if we do that we can fill this up and at each and every coordinate point will indicate the direction in which the solution curve moves right now let us assume that we also know from where the curve passes there could be many curves which could move in a way so that this direction thing is satisfied right but if we know that there is a point let's take a point let's say 0 1 and we say this differential equation y dash equals to y represents a curve which passes through the point 0 1 right so that means we know at least the starting point if we know I should say one of the point on the curve so if we know 
a point and if we know in which direction to move we can sketch the graph you get an idea right so that's the point we can start from and knowing that this is the direction in which we have to move we know exactly how the solution of this differential equation can be represented as a graph now if I take a points which are even closer right then I can have fairly accurate graph so if y is let's say let's say 0 0.5 then y dash will be 0.5 so let me represent this line with slope of half right so let's say these are the small dashed lines representing slope of half all along this line right similarly if i have a point y coordinate point as 1.5 then the slope could be represented more than this less than that so kind of like this right do you see that so so all these points represent that kind of a slope right so knowing all this we can easily actually sketch the graph right so here if it is 2.5 the slope will be steeper than this so it could be kind of like this do you see that so we can sketch these dashed lines which represents the slope of the solution now once you sketch this you see a pattern and this pattern is called the direction field it represents the direction in which the solution of the differential equation curve moves you get an idea so that is how we can utilize direction fields to find solution of differential equation even without solving them so if we know a point we specifically know which curve we are talking about right now since we know that the point is 0 1 through which the curve passes we can start from here and then move along the direction as they are saying do you see this these lines are indicating the direction and you know as you go it is horizontal approaching we could have a curve right so so we do get a curve which is looking like an exponential function do you see that and that is what the solution of this equation is so these directions of the field give us an idea of how to sketch solution of a differential equation without explicitly finding its solution now this is a very very important concept especially you can use it for collecting data uh, from the experiments now when you collect data from experiments it may be very difficult to get some equation for that data immediately but Sketching a graph gives you an idea of the type of solution you might be expecting. I'm Adil Kumar and I hope you appreciate this concept. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Like if you like. And uh, I'll add a few more to explain and practice. Direction fields and how to graph solution of differential equations using them. Thank you and all the best.